In this session, we we'll start off by adding two new gems called OmniAuth and OmniAuth Facebook. These two gems will help us to pull metadata from Facebook and authenticate our users based on that. So open the gem file and we're going to add a gem OmniAuth and also the gem OmniAuth Facebook. Open your terminal and run bundle to install the new gem. All right, now with this new feature, we need to add extra fields into our user model. And those fields are provider, UID, and images. So I'm going to type rails generates migration and add fields to user. And those fields are provider would be string, UID string as well, and the image is string. Okay, so provider in this case is Facebook, and the UID is an access token returned by Facebook, and image, easy, um, to start your Facebook avatar. Now we need to run rec db migrate. Okay, so as you can see, um, we just add the provider UID and images into the user table. In order to connect our Facebook app that we just created in the previous session, we need to provide its API keys. So open your config initializer and device.rb. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, and here we need to config dot on the hour and this one should be Facebook and we need to provide the app ID here app secret here and for the scope we're going to say email all right and the info fields that we need is email now this new thing is a bit different from what you learn in a hero pros because um now, Facebook just provide a new API version and in which it requires this one to make it work. Okay, so now we need to get the app ID and app secret to put it here. So open your Facebook app. We need to copy this app ID and put it here. Also, we need to copy the app secret as well and put it back here. All right, save it. Because here we're providing sensitive data, so it would be a good practice to store the app ID and app secret in the environment variable. You could do that easily when you deploy your app on Heroku or DigitalOcean. Or you can use a gem called Figaro to do that for you. Have a look to my Hero Pro course to see how we deal with this issue. Cool. Now remember Rails is about MVC structure. We got a model, view and controller. And now we're going to make some changes in the model first. So I'll just close one of it. Now open the app models and user.rb. Now we need to copy the Omnia table and put it here. Right. Next, we need to create a method to pull data from Facebook. And I'm going to say self dot from only alpha all right and we're going to pass the parameter here which is alpha the reason we're using a self here is because we want to get this method without initialize a new instant of user the simple as that so first we create a new variable named user and we get where email equal to alf.info.email and we'll get a first result of this let's say if we can find that user then we're going to return that user otherwise we're going to check if provider 
uh, equal else dot provider. Now I might read this one back. This one is easier to read. Okay. And UID elf dot UID. Okay, so if we can't find the user with that email, then we're going to check if that's provider. Provider in this case is Facebook to see if we already got that Facebook in the database yet. If yes, then we're going to get the first result. Or if we can't find it, then we're going to create a new one. Okay. And so in this case, we're going to use a method first or create. That means if that can find the record matching this criteria, it's going to return that record. Otherwise, it's going to create a new one. All right, so here we're going to say user.provider should be alf.provider user.uid alf.uid user.email should be alf.info.email All right, and also you want user.image equal elf dot info dot image and the last one will be user dot password and now we're going to create a new password for this and we're going to do that with the friend lead token method cool okay so next is the controller so under app controller we're going to create a new file named omnialf underscore callbacks underscore controller dot rb the s here is very important because it follows the rails convention when you create a new controller okay so in here we're going to say class omnialf callbacks controller and this one a device. I'll just copy this one because it's exactly the same. Alright, so code my controller good. In here we're going to create a new method named Facebook. Facebook. Now this method is to control the request from our Facebook app. So first I'm going to say user equal user dot from omni alf and I'm going to pass a request dot env this one omni alf dot alf alright so if user persisted right, then we're going to do something Otherwise, we'll do something else. Okay, so if is a persistent, first we're going to sign in and redirect to the user page. And the event would be authentication. And also, we want to set a flash message. And this one should be notice. So set. And can would be Facebook. If is navigation or format. Okay. Now, otherwise, we're going to say session device dot facebook data equal request dot env and on the alf dot alf and then we'll redirect this to the new user registrations URL which is our sign up page. Okay so it's that very simple here and first we're going to 
get user variable and remember this one this method is from here okay so first we try to get the user from a database if we can find a user then we will redirect to the user page and display a message say successfully sign in otherwise we're going to redirect the visitor to the sign up page that's very simple okay so we're done with motor we're done with controller and now it's time to change the views but first go into our login page in app views device sessions and new.html.erv now here we're going to create a login link all right so i'm going to say link to I'll say sign up, sign in actually, sign in with Facebook. Okay, and here we're going to use the user on the auth authorize path. And we're going to pass the Facebook in. Okay, and also we just make a class, a stash it, and it will be BTN and BTN primary all right save it now I'm going to do the same thing with our sign up page so under device registration new.html.erv now I'll just put it here all right okay so we pretty much done just a small configuration and now I'll just close this one a bit so open config Routes.rb and we're going to make some change for the device user. Now we have to do like path, I'm going to say blank, and for the path name, path names actually, um, this is going to say okay, so for the sign up. Now we're going to say sorry for the login. We're going to say login, right? And for the sign out, we're going to say log out. And the same thing with the edit. Now is going to say profile comma. My put this one here so easy to read. Okay. And the last one would be controllers. And now this would be on the out callbacks. This one should be on the out callbacks. Okay, now what we want to do here is remember if you want to go to sign in page, you have to say localhost 3000 slash users slash sign in. And now, only one is just a shortcut, so you just say localhost 3000 and log in. All right, the same thing with profile and the controller configuration here that means we're going to call this Omnia callbacks. For the device controller that's simple before we want to test with facebook i need to open the database and delete the one that we created before so first i'll just open the database don't show again and browse test if i open user so we already got a user here because i'm going to use the same email address for facebook so i'll just delete this one for now Right, right change. Restart the server and open the web browser and go to the sign up page. Remember here we got a sign up before it was users dot sign up, but if we go to this link now, it's no longer exists just because we have to do new configuration in our routes dot Okay, so just remove this one, it's not necessary. Now if I click on sign in with Facebook. Okay, it's the first time it's been asking you for the permission. I'm going to say okay. 
looks like we've got an error here so let's say what you say undefined method even okay so it looks like I got a typo here in the Omnia code by controller.rb and light hand this is a good opportunity for you to learn how to debug things so pretty much something you can look at the chase and it's going to show you exactly where the code is so we're going to the app controller Omnia of Kovacs controller and Lite 10. Now go back to our project and open the Omnia Kovacs controller Lite 10. And this one we should make that should be ENV. Alright, save it. Now just double check again with the from elf. Okay, so from elf. Alright, so here we just are missing the user dot full name. Alright, so we're going to user.info.name because we going to use a full name here, so we need to check the device well. And here we get the name. Okay. Restart the server and open a web browser. Go to the sign up page. Now we click on sign in with Facebook. Okay, so we have an alert here. And it's saying that we need to confirm our email address before continuing. Remember that our authentication system required confirmable via email. And then when you sign in with Facebook, it actually send a confirmation email to you and require you to confirm to accept the app. However, our business rule allow people to accept to sign in with Facebook and they don't have to confirm the email. They, if they want, they can do it later. If you open the circle light and hit refresh, here we can say it just create a new user for us um, with the Facebook provider and UID image, but we haven't got the confirm yet. It's also send confirmation token and send a confirmation email to this user, but we need to confirm that one. And now like I say, we allow people to sign in with Facebook without confirm their email address. So let's do it now. So open our project folder. I just close everything so easy for us to follow. Under config initializer open device.rb. Now we're going to search for unconfirmable. Okay, here we go. So we just uncomment this one. And let's say 30 days. Or even 36 to 5 days. So that means we allow people to access our system without confirmation their email in 365 days. Now go back to the circle light. We need to delete this record for testing. Okay. Now you have to restart the server and open the web browser. Go to the sign up page. Now this time click on sign in with Facebook. Awesome, it's just um, successfully authenticated from Facebook account. And also, as you can see here, we got the avatar and we got a full name from Facebook. However, this avatar is just a gravatar, it's not from the Facebook image. We need to change this one to the Facebook image whenever possible. So, in our project photo, open app, helpers, and helpers application. Now see that one, which still return to the gravatar.com. Now we need to change this one. So first we're going to check dot image. That's mean if you can find the user dot image, then we return the user dot image. Right. Otherwise, we return this gravatar. Okay, so open the web browser and hit refresh. Now you still see the same avatar, but actually this one is uh, the Facebook image as well. I'm using the same uh, Iron Man image for both Gravatar and Facebook image. But if you got the different avatar on your Facebook account, you can see the difference. Now if you want to log out, just click log out. Okay, so in this session, you learn how to create a social network applications. You can do it easily with Google Plus or GitHub as well.
You can have a look at my Hero Pro course to know for the details. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.